Hey guys, it's your girl Risa and <laughs> just coming to say hello. We are out to dinner, grabbing us a bite to eat. Y'all, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I want to say hey son, to all my old subscribers, my family members, my boo babies, my sickle babies. Y'all know who you are. Yep. And, um, I want to thank y'all for all the love and support you have given us. And um, I send y'all hugs, kisses, and many blessings on this hump day, y'all. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, we had a scare today. Where do I begin? It was frustrating today. Trying to get Corey's medicine to him at school. Um, I gave him some Benadryl this morning to help with his runny nose, and um, I wound up talking to the teacher, and I hung up with the phone with the teacher, and the school called me back within like 10 minutes, and I was thinking, okay, she forgot to tell me something. Y'all, she said, we need you to get here. We got a situation with Corey. We can't wake him up. I just jumped, Janae was sitting on the floor in front of me because I was doing a hair for I jumped over her, threw the phone to Galen, I said, Galen, we got to go, something wrong with Corey. No, I said, Galen, they say something wrong with Corey, they can't wake him up. I just took off running, snatched the keys from him, I went and got in the car, he trying to find his shoes. We get to this, I promise you, I don't know how fast I was going. I hit the gas. And I just started praying. I was just like, Lord, by Jesus stripes, my son is healed. Devil, you can't have my baby. Oh, I was just saying all kind of stuff loud. And I reached over and touched my husband as I was saying it. We touching and agreeing. Galen was like, what did they say? I said, baby, I don't know. They just say he, he couldn't wake him up. And so he, um, we get there, jump out, run into school, me, him, and Darian, and they were able to get him awake. And he was sitting there, he was crying, the eyes was red. And I think it, I think it may have been, you too, thank you. I think it was a combination of him um, having the Benadryl, which makes you sleepy. And um, his teacher had called me to tell me that he wouldn't eat his breakfast. So he didn't have anything in his system. And I don't know, his sugar might have got too low because here it is, it was almost two o'clock at this point. And oh, I just picked him up and hugged him and gave him something, give me my boy. And then he, the teacher mentioned, the principal was like, well, we, we need to discuss this because we need to really have a sit down conversation before he can come back to school so that we can find out what to do and how to take care of this. Um, me, myself, and I, I felt like they should have did that from day one when they realized he was a student and when you got his QM folder from the other school and when I came and registered him and I told y'all all of this from the beginning, he had, they had uh, several days. It's already a week and a half in the school and y'all still don't know nothing about him other than what I tell y'all. They haven't read his, they finally read his IEP yesterday. Um, they haven't read any other medical reports. The um, the counselor she finally read. She said she read it yesterday. School is is it's a week a week in the school, well over a week in the school, and it's not like you go to a school where all the kids are that way. But you know, I've told you that he has these issues, and it just you know it's just crazy. It's crazy, and I'm like wow. So I have a meeting tomorrow with the principal, the assistant principal, the counselor, and the nurse because I came home and called the school board and the district nurse called me back and so she got in contact with the health department nurse that is over his school and so I told her I wanted her to meet me at the school tomorrow at one o'clock. It scared me so bad y'all and I could just hear the Lord say trust me, trust me. I, that's what it just kept coming to mind, trust me. And I just began to speak the word. I don't even, y'all, it might be 
some more words in the Bible that you can speak healing over somebody. But the ones that I knew came to mind right offhand, and that is by Jesus' stripes, my son is healed. Devil, you cannot have my baby, okay? So he's okay. I am going to put in a call. Um, I'm kind of scared to let him go to sleep. I really am. <laughs> I really am kind of scared to let him go to sleep. But if I say I trust the Lord, I can't be scared. But I want to make sure that, it, you know, that he didn't, you know, that it was nothing else wrong with him, you know. And on top of that, y'all, I got a toothache. It just hit me in the car on the way here, coming to, we at TGI Fridays. And uh, we just finished eating. And I had the spicy shrimp and chicken alfredo with Lagosino lobster sauce with mushrooms on top. <clears throat> Galen had what you had a Caesar salad, grilled chicken Caesar salad with vinegar Caesar vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. He wanted a big salad and that's what he got. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat all mine. I usually eat all of it but I didn't because I'm I'm not full full like I usually be but I'm satisfied. My stomach not empty. So I'm trying to wait a little while so I can pop a couple of these pain pills. I took an antibiotic as soon as I got here. So um, we're going to see. And um, we're going to go from there. I'm waiting for him to finish his drink. I have gotten in the habit of ordering warm water and lemon juice when I go out to eat. And it, it does help. I don't feel gassy when I drink. If he come back, ask him, do they have a to-go club? So I can, I say if you see him when he come back. So yeah, we had that scare today. And um, I don't know what's going on. This whole side of my face right here hurt. You know how you, from your teeth right here, and up to here, the bad boy hurt, okay? So, we getting ready to go and go home and check on my baby and just relax. I'm at the mall and I'm not going shopping. Ain't that something? Mm, mm, mm. I want to go to um. Excuse me. Do you have a to-go cup? Yes. Thank you. So you guys, I may come back and talk to y'all a little more. But I want y'all to know I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good night. You have a wonderful night. Okay? You too. Bye, sugar.